Hello, I'm Caroline Uchima and I'm talking to you from Scotland. Uh, just behind me you can see our Peaceful Henge and today I'm going to invite you into the Henge to have a little walk around. So Henge means circle and there are many many henges around the world, sacred henges, perhaps the most famous of all being Stonehenge. Uh, our Neolithic ancestors 5,000 years ago uh, performed many, many sacred rituals in these henges, uh, connecting with the universal source, connecting with their own divine self. And this is the modern version of the henge, the Peace Pole Henge. So in our Peace Pole Henge, we have the 193 countries represented in the United Nations. And when we walk clockwise round the Henge, we see the message, may peace prevail on earth, repeated over and over again on the peace pole for each country. When we walk anti-clockwise, we can see the message, may peace prevail on earth in all the scripts and languages of each country. We have held ceremonies in the Peace Pole Henge every year since its creation and would have been holding our annual flag ceremony on Midsummer's Day this year. I like to think that the energy from this Peace Pole Henge is contributing to creating a future of peace for humanity. The power of thoughts, words and actions spreading around the world and linking with all the peacemakers to visualize and actualize peaceful, vibrant well-being of all life on the planet. But the heart of our Peace Pole Henge is our central Peace Pole. May peace be in our homes and communities. And this is Uma. He's the Allenton Peace Pole maker. And while Uma's making the Peace Pole, he likes to play beautiful music to accompany the Peace Pole as it makes its way out into the mission its mission in the world.